Hi, if you'd like to see how I put together this chicken enchilada dinner, then keep watching. So I decided to cook my chicken in the crock pot. So I have two chicken breasts and I'm pouring over a can of enchilada sauce and I'm putting in just a little tiny bit of liquid smoke and some chicken taco seasoning, chicken broth, pouring all that in. Um, the liquid smoke, I think, is just going to give it a nice depth of flavor. And I wanted to add in a little bit of citrus um, just to go with all that spice and counteract it a little bit. And um, lime and orange. And then I cooked the chicken on low for about an hour and a half. And then I shredded it up with my little hand mixer. And I just love the texture of that. And then I put it back in the juices and left it to keep warm. And now I'm frying up my yellow corn tortillas just really fast, just to make them pliable so that um, they won't break and crack when I'm filling them. So then after I fry them, I dip them in enchilada sauce and then I'm filling them with chicken and cheese. Uh, these are just for my children. My husband and I will have onion and jalapeno and olive in ours, but I just wanted to show you how I did this. So um, after I got them all filled, covered them with more enchilada sauce and cheese, and then I baked them at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until they got really nice and hot and warmed through and melted and wonderful. And then I just reheated some refried beans from the other night and I made some yellow rice from the box, really easy to put together. Um, it's easy. And then I just uh, served it with some queso fresco on the top and some sour cream. And it was so good. I really enjoyed this. The chicken was really soft. I love the texture of that the um, hand mixer gave it. Like it just made it really soft. It's, it's great. So if you enjoy this type of content. I do easy weeknight meals all the time, plus a little bit of baking. So um, if you haven't done this already, please subscribe. I'd love you to be part of my journey. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.